I don't know what, what happened. Let's check out the BBC.com. What's going on in the BBC.com? Israel murders a million people. Yeah, we know that. That's happened every single day. Trump campaign says its internal messages hacked by Iran. Oh man, this has potential. Hold on. That is actually cool. That's awesome. I want to know what's going on there. I want these to be released immediately by Iran. Show no mercy. Okay, that, this, this grabbed my attention. Donald Trump's campaign has said some of its internal communications have been hacked and suggested it was targeted by Iranian operatives. US news website Politico reported on Saturday that it had e been emailed campaign documents including internal research carried out on Trump's running mate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Hmm... I bet you this is just made up bullshit to try and um, do... Ah, oh, you guys said that we, we're supported by Russia. Well, you're supported by Iran. Looks like it's a Russia versus Iran election. Who are you going to vote for? The Islamic Republic or Putin? I don't know about you, but I'm on the side of the, Israeli, the Islamic Republic. I'm on the side of Muhammad. Okay, so they provided no evidence linking this to Iran. But it would be base if Iran did it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, no, may, no maybe it did happen. Because the statement came one day after Microsoft released a report indicating that the Iran that Iranian hackers targeted the campaign of an unnamed U.S. presidential candidate in June. Well, I mean, how many could there be? There's two of them. The file was 271 pages long and based on publicly available information about Vance's past record and statements. The email also sent part of a research document about Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who is also a, a vice presidential contender, it said. Oh, that's great. Like, who the fuck is JD Events? I don't know. No one knows who the fuck that guy is other than like a, a piece of shit. But Marco Rubio actually has like a profile and he lost to him. How embarrassing. He didn't even get chosen. Sad. Very low energy. I mean, if Iran hacked this, it, it sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds nothing. It sounds like nothing. Like internal documents based on public information just doing like viability research on a vice presidential candidate. It sounds very corporate, very unprincipled, but what do you expect from a, one of the two mainstream American political parties, you know? I'm sure all of them focus group every fucking thing they do. It sounds very minor and unconsequential. I'm honestly surprised that Iran would even let them know they did this by sending these documents to Politico when there's, it seems like there's nothing really important or compromising in them. All that they would do is sort of um, add in the potential that they get blamed for it for no real return. But um, overall, I mean, good on you, Iran, for doing it in the first place. But strategically, I believe you may have made an error. You should have saved something like this for a bigger payout, in my opinion, because we're not really getting any juicy deets from the stuff that you hacked. You got to be more careful next time. Ayatollah Khomeini, I support you 100%.